Welcome back to the Unbreakable Sentai Podcast. I'm James. Ooh, ooh. I'm Darius. And I'm Noah. We back. It's it's been two weeks. Episode twenty one, right? Oh, oh. You want? It, I think that's. Is right. it twenty one? Yeah. Hey, it's twenty two. Twenty two. Oh, oh no. Damn. no. That's fine, Darius. Everybody makes mistakes. Womp, womp, womp. This is uh, two days after Christmas. This is Christmas cast. Yeah, I just yeah. had a delicious bagel mm-hmm. with some delicious uh, jerky. Yeah, venison, venison jerky. jerky. Yeah, and some delicious... Uh, Pancakes. Pancakes. Good-ass fresh maple syrup. Yep. And some uh, good trail mix. Spoil us. Yeah, I'm trying, dude. <laughs> I gotta get, keep you guys around somehow. <laughs> it's like you guys, you know, I, I give you verbal abuse from time to time, but then you're like, God damn it, he's gonna bring me jerky. Me <laughs> but that food, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I stick around. <laughs> exactly. It's the only reason to stick around. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> you don't have to lie. Uh, <laughs> so we, we got a jam-packed thing today. Uh, I mean, kind of. We talk about Christmas and stuff, but yeah, we're gonna talk about Christmas. We're gonna Damn talk me about if our I lists. remember what <laughs> came, what happened these last two weeks. Oh, that's okay. I only have really four things to talk about that isn't oh, political. Sure. So <laughs> <laughs> let's try to keep this light and airy of a podcast. Yeah. We were talking about board I mean? games earlier. We yeah, should talk about that too. Yeah, we'll definitely talk about that because yeah. I I want Darius to know what board game you got. Yeah. Uh, but before we go into the Christmas thing, I just want to fucking talk about the bullshit that's happened over the last couple weeks. It's fun. Sure. Uh, Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk, um, there's a whole lot of shit going down with Cyberpunk. Cy- Cyberpunk's got some some real shit. Yeah. Uh, you guys hear about the new shit with Cyberpunk? No, I heard I they don't fixed think so. the, the save glitch, which, which I'm happy about. Yeah, they definitely fixed the save glitch, which is good. That's uh, the over-encumbrance, deleting exactly. your stuff or whatever. Yeah, if you, if you get uh, more than a PS2 memory card's worth of a save file, then okay. you get uh, your save file corrupts. and They can't do anything about it? Nope. <laughs> But they fixed it, so that's not the problem. Uh, the fun thing, though, is uh, investors are suing. Like, one investor, at least, is yeah. suing CD Projekt. I did hear about this. Because they're like, you guys, like, lied we invested, and you guys lied to us about what we were investing in because a majority of the people that would buy your product would <laughs> buy the version that you never showed. Oh. And it's like... Oh. yeah, I guess so. Right? And it's like... A lot of people are like, that's stupid. You invested. You're an investor. It doesn't matter what the finished product came out as. Yeah. You're an investor. Yeah. Like. That's true. Like, if it came out bad, that sucks. Yeah, but that's also on you for literally giving them the money. Yeah, exactly. Rich people got to try. Oh, 100%. You know. I mean, I, I hate him for trying, but I mean, I appreciate the capitalism involved. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Speaking <laughs> of investing, with Cyberpunk, uh, I was thinking, I've been thinking about this for a while in cyberpunk <laughs> no but um okay so witcher 3 is a, is a super amazing game mm. now you know yeah yeah um the stock in <laughs> cd project rare has dropped hard yep i've been thinking about buying some now why it's get low because it yeah. i kind of believe in them and like oh I, they'll patch it to acceptable oh, yeah. quality for sure yeah but i just mean like in like I believe in them as a company to like I feel like you always gotta have your bad one and like this was due and I just felt like Oh this yeah. No no company is perfect one hundred percent of the time. Mm-hmm. Everybody gets a fucking not a flop, because this wasn't a flop. Yeah. It's a massive financial success. Yeah. But everybody has that one where you go Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I just I just feel like they kinda they're I I feel like they're they kind of let it bubble up out of, their, out of their control and like like uh james was saying they went public through the development of cyberpunk yep so they, they were they were private up until 2018 and then they became a public company so sure. then because of that outside influences were able to come in and be like no you should do this and it's like there's a good chance that that's one of the reasons why cyberpunk was in the state it was on. yeah that's one of the reasons they like released it like this and stuff and I don't know. I've just been thinking like, this is a perfect time to get in while it's low because yeah. it's, it's low right now. And five, six years from now, when they release Witcher Four or series Journey or something, yeah, it's gonna be good. You know, they know how to make a fucking Witcher game. They said they're gonna go back to Witcher for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. And like, I've just been on my mind of like, is this opportunity I should probably take? I was thinking like, like, could like. 
either like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Just like put it in there. Just get, 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 just get a foot in the door. Yeah. You know, put that pinky toe in. Because I, I believe them. They, they, they know how to make a good game. Mm-hmm. And like one of the reasons I wanted Cyberpunk wasn't because of like how good it looked. Is because I know how good their side stories are. Sure. And like their side stories aren't generic. It makes you feel like you're in the real world. And that's mostly the reason I guess Cyberpunk. Yeah, I still think one of the first side quests I did in Witcher 3 is one of the most fun side quests I ever did. It's Which with that one? dwarf who had his fucking workshop burned down. Oh, yeah, it was super interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. There's a dwarf I vaguely against... remember that. Yeah, okay, good. But I don't I remember, like... like, the entirety of it. It's basically you get to the dude at the end because you use your Witcher senses, your Batman senses, to yeah. track him down. And he's like, yeah, I'm a drunk piece of shit, but he's a fucking dwarf. Fuck dwarves. Yeah. And you, you can either be like, don't do that, or give him to the dwarf. And I gave him to the dwarf, and the dude's like, why the piece of shit's making stuff for Nilfgaard? Like, the Nilfgaardians are pieces of shit. And it's like, he needs to live. You aren't paying him. Yeah. And you t- I took him back, because I was like, fuck this guy. Yeah. And I took him back, and he's like, ah, cool. Uh, thanks for doing this for me, Geralt. Um, they're going to kill him. And I was like, what? And it's like, yeah, I'm going to tell the police, and the Nilfgaardians are going to hang him because the he stopped yeah. by production of their goods sure and i was like jesus i didn't expect that like it's the world that it is right. and he totally did burn your house down with the intent to kind of kill you sure so like fuck him <laughs> fairs is yeah. fair yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you failed he succeeded <laughs> but like right out the gate that's like such a interesting right. story yeah. for the world it's yeah. like that's yeah. the Each fucking side world i never finished it myself but i mean like obviously the big one is the bloody baron quest line that yep. one's just yeah. like top tier side quest of side quests yeah so i mean, i believe in them even with this bullshit and you know, I'm sorry for touching your foot right there. No, no. I don't know if please that go, turned go you ahead. on or not. We're, we're friends, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, come on, babe, shit, foot power. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I I think they can they can climb out of this hole. Cause like, this isn't the only company to fuck up and climb out of a hole. Know. You know, like Bethesda's look at, been doing it for decades. Yeah. <laughs> like Square Enix too. Like Final Fantasy fourteen was a mess. Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy XIV was an abject failure. Fuck, thirteen didn't... Like, people hated thirteen. Yeah. Fucking not a lot of people liked twelve. Like, and look at them now. Fifteen's amazing. Fourteen's yeah. amazing now. Next yeah. one Fucking, looks good. Yep, next one. I can't wait for the next one. And Capcom, they they were kind of... They weren't... They didn't have the best relationship with their fans after, you know, the Crapcom days. Yeah, crap, Crapcom was rough. Yeah, yeah. so... I, I believe in... I'm, like... I'm taking yeah. i'm seriously thinking about buying some like stock or something i'd say go for it yeah if it's low there's like no reason not to honestly yeah, yeah. yeah. for reals and but c- cyberpunk's a fine game too yeah I'm, on pc I'm, I'm gonna buy it when the <laughs> ps5 copy comes out oh yeah because yeah. i think trish and i would enjoy playing that together oh absolutely. you know like that's the kind of game she likes to play is that like kind of big open pseudo crafting mm. like like outer worlds right yeah outer worlds is a very similar game Okay, it's very yeah. Yeah, different it's New Vegas, right? Yeah. yeah. One thing I will say that I didn't know when I was playing it that uh, I was listening to. Which one? I said one thing. I'm about what to game? say. Cyberpunk. Oh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Uh, I was listening to Pat talk about it and uh, Super Castle Beast. Castle Super Beast? Yeah. Um, I didn't. I, I thought it was weird when I was playing it, but I, I didn't know this was what, was what was happening. So apparently, the world is only what you see. So, like, if you're looking in straight ahead, you oh, see yeah. some stuff. Everything behind you isn't loaded yep. yeah. until you look around. And then when you turn back around to look where you were walking, it reloads everything. Yep. So people become different. Oh, oh so yeah, they yeah, tell yeah. Them. That's kind of weird and annoying. So, I, I will say this. That's something that almost every game mm-hmm. does. I remember seeing, like, a video of Wind Waker doing specifically the... Yeah, yeah. that's cool. But you're right. They yeah. fucked up by not having markers on the models yeah. to tell yeah. you who was who. Because it, it just feels like... It just feels like everything's so random. Like, mm-hmm. I was telling James this as I was, uh, when I was playing it. The character designs are great. Every character, oh, yeah. like, I walk up to, I think they're important. Sure. Because yep. I'm, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, you, you're not a basic bitch. You know, 
But um, I, it took me a while to figure out that only important people have names above their head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I was telling James, like, Final Fantasy 15, you know who who's not a main character. Yeah. Right? It's that anime <laughs> yeah. protagonist. <syndrome>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, with this game, everybody just looks so cool that I, I like it. But that's that's one of the only things I don't feel don't really like about it, that everything's different every time you look around. Yeah. I want my people to stay there yeah, yeah at least yeah. until like you completely leave the area yeah or whatever. yeah 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 that is weird <laughs> that sounds goofy that sounds funny i, I posted goofy. like a glitch in discord uh but i think Kareznikov's the thing uh, when you aim it slows down time but uh. if you like aim and like keep dashing to the side it'll keep the momentum going faster and faster yeah. so you can kind of just speed your way through stuff or, or mm. is that the thing of like the people playing it like it's doom eternal and shit where they're just like I fucking so. zooming through blasting <laughs> with shotguns i think like, so yeah it's fucking crazy uh so yeah i don't know Cy- cyberpunk's got some shit but I, like darius said i'm sure they'll pull it through because like people straight up forget how bad the witcher 3 was at launch yeah, I don't. Buildings, I don't think I played until like all the DLC was out. Yeah, dude, it was rough. Buildings yeah. would literally form in front of you. Like the pop in was crazy. Huh. Like it was bad on release, and they fucking fixed it. But people didn't care back then because they were a random Polish developer. Right. But now that they're known as the people who made The Witcher Three, like, <laughs> people forget that yeah, they might be a AAA studio, but they just became a AAA. Studio. And they yeah. only made three games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think we talked about it before, but, like, CD Projekt Red used to be a fucking piracy company. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they used to fucking, like, pirate and, like, make games for Russia from, oh, like, shit. other countries and shit. Like, <laughs> so, and I think there's something weird. Like, they used to fucking distribute games over the radio. Like, that's how fucking Russian oh, pirate bullshit they were. <laughs> Is the horror game bullshit on your list? Horror game bullshit? The one with, with good devotion? old games. Is that I don't know. Good old games with the. Oh yeah, yeah, that is that. Okay, okay. Uh, no, I I didn't talk about it, but uh, good old games is totally owned by CD Projekt Red, so yeah, we yeah. talk about that. Uh, so I don't remember exactly when, but uh, uh, fuck. Devotion was the Taiwanese game that was basically PT, and it's fucking amazing. Oh, okay. And yeah. it was out for four days. And then they found in the files a thing making fun of the, like, leader of China. Yeah. Um, Xi Jinping, I think his something name is. Like something Yeah, whatever. Uh, and it's like, there was something about Winnie the Pooh in the files, and there was something else basically being like, yeah, he's a fucker. Yeah. And it got pulled off of everywhere. And that, per- that place, their publisher lost their license in China, and, like, a whole bunch of shit went down. Yeah. So, like, last week or something, they were like, hey – devotion is totally coming to good old games like it's coming back guys and then like two hours later good old games is like devotion is no longer coming back damn and and people are like why and good old games lied the hardest i've ever heard but they they had to it's fucking they were already in up shit's creek right uh they were like yeah we had a large outcry of gamers that said that they would rather it not be released and we're like wow gamers is a really weird way to spell china because <laughs> 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 at the time cyberpunk wasn't rated in china so it wasn't oh, even up yeah. for sale in china yet yeah. so they just had to cover their bases so eat shit good old games right like fuck you cd project you're, you're kind of i get what you're trying to do but y'all pieces of shit right like because that game's dope uh if if i I watched a couple people play it on youtube because i didn't get a fucking chance to get that copy up for four days you know and like it looks great it's 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 pt it's got a good story it's super creepy and eat shit (laughs) no one can play it now because of some bullshit (laughs) fucking love it so let's move on to some stupid bullshit uh i don't even have much to say i didn't buy him sephiroth came out Oh, did you not buy him? No, I, oh. I Darius still has yeah. my copy of Smash. Yeah. Oh, okay. so if if I get my copy of Smash back, I'll probably buy him just to have fun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's cool. I'll play it with you guys eventually. So whatever. He looks dope. Hey, he looks dope. He looks fucking. I don't want to say he looks broken, but like he's got some. Oh, some he, he he's tech. OP as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Getting I was, a fucking triple jump was, when he gets the wing. Yeah, I was like, watching like some pros like lab him, and he so. looks ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's he looks fun. But, I mean, you yeah, that's, that's no. I, I haven't bought in, bought a Smash character since Banjo came out. How do you feel about Seth Rollins since you have, like, 
no I connection mean, to I'm glad he's in the game. I'm glad yeah. people are happy for him. But he's not like somebody that I'm jazzed about per se. Yeah. You know? Not that I don't. Yeah. But you know. you know about him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Because I know you're not like super into Final Fantasy games. Yeah. It's not. It's not that I'm like not super into them. I just haven't played them. Yeah. It wasn't like a part of Your my childhood. childhood. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. The only reason I played them. Dirge of Cerberus was though. <laughs> Would you want to play remake Final Fantasy VII remake? I have uh, it. Yeah, I'd be down to play it. Super I don't know game. when I'd have like time to. I don't know, James. What do you think? Do you think he needs to play the original, or I don't think he needs to. No. If he does, we'll just fucking play it together sometime. Oh, sure. On the Switch. Oh yeah, because you can fast forward. Yeah, because we'll yeah. just use all the cheats because it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> yeah. Play it for the for uh, the story or for our channel. Oh yeah, that's true too. Hey, watch us literally bumble through the story. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you have to watch Advent Children? No. I've seen oh. it. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't say that I remember everything in it, but so I have seen you it. Don't you don't have to don't remember. Have to. <laughs> <laughs> I owned that movie twice. So. Like, fuck. It was good for, where it came, for the time it came it out. It was an enjoyable film, but yeah. it's not good. Yeah. That's the best way to fucking put it. <laughs> like, just like Kingsglaive. Kingsglaive is fun, but it's not good. I haven't watched it again. I watched it that one time. I enjoyed it, and I, I haven't watched it again. I, I still want Noah to watch it, so he can bring it over maybe tomorrow. And we can it just... looks – it's pretty. It's yeah. very pretty. King's Glaive is very pretty. I, I I also love the main character, Nyx. It's fucking great. Yeah. He fucking shits on the gods and calls them bitches. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, you think you can use this power? And he's like, your city's going to go up in flames, dumbasses. I don't care. I'm already dead. And they're like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> give, him the, give him the dick juice. <laughs> Fill him with the BDE. <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah, Sephiroth's cool, but nah. The the thing that's near and dear to Darius's heart that we need to talk about is, is Netflix. Netflix. What's going on Netflix? Netflix has decided to pick Yu Yu Hakusho oh, oh, as God. the next live action uh, thing oh, they're making. God. Yeah. Yep. Nobody knows if it's going to be a movie or a series, and we're all super worried that it's just going to be another Death Note. I mean, I don't know. Does anybody need this? I mean, like, if it when it comes out, will like anybody actually care? I mean, I'm gonna watch it because I have to. Watch it. Well, like you'll watch it, but like nobody's like expecting it to be like there's the next ch- big thing, you know? There's a that's s- true. It's it's not Stranger Things. Like it's not gonna pop off. There's a one percent right. chance of it that it can be good. 1%. Well, sure, but it's like if it's bad, it's not like. I guess like the people who are like hardcore fans might hurt, but like. It's not like tarnishing, you know, like the original series per se. Yeah. Like it's still there. Yeah, it's yeah. just this just hurts. Oh yeah, for sure. Because you can't, you can't, you can't do cool bar in real life and make it look good. <laughs> well, they made uh, Josuke look pretty good in the live action JoJo movie. Did they? Yeah. I know, yeah, I've never looks, seen it. He looks fine. I'll, I'll bring up a picture. I've never seen it. But so have you? Have you never watched uh, Yu Hakusho or read it, Noah? Um, what you were saying? I haven't read it. Um, I owned a VHS of one of the tournament arcs. That had, uh, it was mostly the Rose brothers. guy. Oh, oh, Karama. Yeah. It, it was one of his fights, and I it think looks fine. The Black Dragon. Yeah, guy that's, that's most definitely his hair. Right. Was like, in another fight, but like yeah. he looks, he looks great. So yeah. I mean, I think that they could probably pull off Kuwabara's hair, because Kuwabara's hair is less fucking. I mean. You know, like, his is just a standard-ass pompadour, you yeah. know? Like, at the very least. The, the, the sad part, James, is that they're not going to do a pompadour. No. <laughs> That's the sad part, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love a pompadour. That's one of the most honorable men, honorable men in anime history right there. You're goddamn right I he is. I fucking love that man. You're goddamn right he is. <laughs> I love him. Oh, Kuwabara, you're a messy. <laughs> it's like. Somebody was like uh, in the comments to like the the article about Yu Yu Show was like, yeah, I can't wait to watch this about you, uh, Yusuke Urameshi. Oh, well, I mean, sorry, this is Netflix. Johnny Hot Dog, <laughs> the whitest man in, a, in Montana. <laughs> and I was like, I'd watch Johnny Hot Dogs. So the, <laughs> one of the only positive things come out of this is that we know the Hunter Hunter dude is getting money. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. He yeah. deserves it. That's like the only positive thing to come out of this. I've gotten enough enjoyment out of Hunter Hunter that even if I never get another chapter, he deserves some money. Yeah. Chimera and Ark alone deserves yep. all the money. 
sprinkle it into his paycheck. So like, you deserve it. <laughs> Retire now. Sprinkle it into the back <laughs> surgery so he can get some new chapters. Goddamn right. <laughs> give him a cyberpunk back. Yeah. You know? Oh, like, yeah. Give him a robo back. <laughs> uh, so the last thing that isn't even really anything before we get into like Christmas talk is uh, fucking Trisha's boss was driving around his hometown. And he was, like, at a stop sign, like, a four-way stop. And he, like, looks to his left and right. And he, like, keeps looking forward. And he's like, what did my brain just see on the left? And he looks over to his left again. And there's a fucking, like, teenage kid driving around in a Lazy Boy chair. Yes. <laughs> so, like, yes. he looked over and the kid was just like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so he was just like, huh. I love that shit. Okie dokie. <laughs> Which is the best thing in the world, you Honestly. know? Honestly. Like, live your life like you want to, you know, live Hey, it. man, that could be a young Tony Stark right there. Exactly. <laughs> you know? If he gives us all lazy boys to roll around in, I'm, I'm You in. always see, like, yeah. videos of that shit, but seeing one in real life has got to be something special. Oh, well, yeah. Wally's <laughs> coming, dude. That, <laughs> Wally <laughs> told the future. The biggest smile of just, yeah. Everybody's going to get their 60-ounce big gold. James, oh, yeah. before right we move on, uh, can you tell us what weep trash are reading this week? No, this isn't that. This isn't this that. We this King. is Shaman King. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and I, I. Oh, is that yo? Hell yeah, that's yo. Okay. It, yeah. As soon as I saw that pop up, I'm like, were we supposed to read something? And then I noticed <laughs> the kid, and I'm like, wait, that's Shaman King. Yeah. Is this the new stuff? This? Uh, no, this is. I'm just rereading the old stuff. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna re 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 the Kenshin again too. Mm-hmm. But no, this is a. Uh, Boken Ka Ninaro, Skillboard de Dungeon Kyo Yaku. Uh, so I'm, I am reading some weeb trash. Karen. <laughs> She's about to get beat up by uh, an Dog anteater here. with a spear. Hell yeah. <laughs> Is this, this the Chimera Man arc of, of this second. series? No, so this one's actually cool. Uh, it takes place in the isekai. real world. But uh, no, no. Reverse isekai almost? Yeah. So it's the real world, except all over Japan and like a couple other countries, dungeons have appeared that have monsters in it. So it's basically like Monster oh. Hunter. People have like stopped being like there are still regular J- like Japan jobs, but now some people are just like, "No, nah, I'll be an adventurer. Fuck it, I'll sell shit." Sure. And like this dude sucks because nobody he's like no one notices him. He's just such an empty slate that like he gets like jostled around and nobody cares. But then a dungeon opens up in his house, and oh. he's like, "Oh fuck." I can get super strong without having to deal with other motherfuckers. Mm. And he finds a skill board in there, which is like, like it absorbs into him and he can see his status and other people next to him status. And he's like, Holy shit, this is like a fucking super good item. And he's like, I can put my points into things that I want. Oh, shit. oh wow. fuck. but it's not super broken to the point where like, like he doesn't get like a bajillion stat points. It's right. just that, like, he can work what he wants. To right. Work. He's, he can suit himself for any situation pretty exactly. much and uh <laughs> he does get he finds a magical item that doesn't like increase his stats at all but it's, it's a shitty fucking mask <laughs> but when he wears it people notice him because he looks so fucking creepy oh so like that's what he wears as an adventurer so people can actually see him and talk to him but like when he's like oh fuck he like takes it off and enemies don't even fucking notice him anymore they're like Oh, let's kill that guy over there oh, so we shit. can like fucking kill them and, sh- and it's like, okay, I'm I'm in. That's kind of cool. This is kind of neat, you know. Like the art's good. Oh yeah, it's it's super good. I I just I can't wait to see more of like, his fucking dummy <laughs> with the fucking spear, dude. Uh, but yeah, he's he's it's super good. I'm cool. enjoying it. So fuck you for, this, <laughs> for calling out my weeb train. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh. We'll just get into fucking holiday Christmas talk. Fuck it. I mean, that can't be a new segment, James. We trash every week. I mean, it already is. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you guys come here, I've got four or five tabs open of a bunch of stuff. And it's like, what did you find, James? Oh, well, I found... <laughs> it's like when your dog fucking brings trash to you, you know? It's like, oh, good good job, James. Let me just throw this away. <laughs> so we, we all just had a nice little Christmas. Mm-hmm. together right right about 20 minutes ago yeah you know mm-hmm. 25 26 there's a the amount of time that we've been talking okay uh, <laughs> <laughs> we all just exchanged exchanged the presents we got some good stuff it was yeah. cool it was nice Fun. we ate pancakes as uh darius already mm-hmm. said at the beginning yeah i've been stuffed my face all week i, I mean, mean all day yeah. calories <laughs> don't count on holidays they don't exactly. they don't I tomorrow much. though 
It'll hit you. <laughs> well, I guess you're still on vacation. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can eat as much as the last week, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I went up to Michigan. It was fun. I had a blast. You know, I saw saw family, saw friends, mm. got gifts that I that shouldn't have been given. But you appreciate But I very much appreciate them. Yeah, air, fryer, air fryers are dope. Yeah, it's a dope air fryer. Yeah, I can't wait to use it. It's, it looks super good. It's so big. I'm, I I feel like I should mention that I, I don't I – don't, I'm not saying that I don't love the gifts that I got. Yeah. It's just we had agreed not to give gifts. Yeah. So then I got a gift and it was like, no, <laughs> we said no. <laughs> I'm going to use it. <laughs> He's like, thank you so much. You're the best, but no. <laughs> So Darius, you just you just spent time with Amy. You said, yeah, Amy and and uh, her son Leo. Nice. And it was um, <laughs> the kid got me addicted to this this show called Pup Academy. Pup Pup Academy. Pup Academy. It's an Airbud uh production. Oh yeah, could technically be a spinoff. Maybe I don't know. Is it a cartoon? No, like, is it no, it's live action. It's like oh, Airbud. Sure. It's like Airbud. It's fucking so. <laughs> so like Amy had to work a half day on Christmas Eve. And so I'm just down there in the basement with with Leo, and we're just like watching. He's he's watching whatever the fuck he wants to watch, and like I, I start up Mario Galaxy because I'm like I'm not gonna be interested in this. Right. <laughs> You're looking over it every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, dude, yeah. PubCat is good. <laughs> so like it's the concept. The concept is uh, there's this, like this secret puppy academy school. Okay. That all pups go to go to yeah. to learn how to be real good pups or okay. dogs. And, and like eventually. special skills or like just. A, like, uh, just a good dog. If, if you consider eating food off the floor that your master dropped, a special skill, yeah. Okay. It was, it was, it was literally a class. <laughs> so it's like a, an etiquette class and not so much as like you're good at like basketball, like air butt or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they have little school uniforms they wear. Okay. And uh, <laughs> Are they all like golden retrievers then? No, they're all different types of pups. Like the main, and I, I'm not even going to call it main. It was, is air butt a golden retriever? I think so. I don't know. Uh, whatever Airbud was, uh, there is one pup that is him. Okay. And um, yeah, they just go to school. But also, there's a uh, one man who like runs the school kind of, mm. and he can hear the pups talking. Oh, talk sure. to the pups. <laughs> he can <laughs> talk to dogs. So, <laughs> and, so he's a yeah, pup. he's a regular Doolittle. Yeah. And uh, there his grandson is like in training to help like run the school. His grandson can't talk to dogs, though. No. But they have to keep it secret that there's a secret pup academy. Are they spies? And, uh... Is it a series? Yeah, it's a series on okay. Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Yeah. And, um... I, I was getting into it, dude. Uh, the, the little kid has his best friend. I think her name is Arya or something. Yeah. And, um... She... Her pup goes to the school, and she, like, followed her pup one day and found out the school is this. So... The little boy is like, you can't tell anybody the school is this. And she's like, I know I won't, but I fucking, I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> so she substitutes one day because the kid's sick. It's really, it's really cool, man. There's there's three pups who, uh, who like, are all friends. There's Spark. She's a stray. Okay. But she still goes to Pup Academy. And yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a prophecy of a boy and a stray getting together one day and uh, saving, saving the school. It is a prophecy. <laughs> it is a prophecy. <laughs> and guess what, James? The main little boy who's training to take up school, he doesn't have a pup. Oh, damn. Yeah, I wonder there what's going to happen there. <laughs> uh, the prophecy! <laughs> yeah, uh, there's there's the, the Golden Retriever one or the Air Bud one. I forgot his name. Uh, but he's there, and then they have a, another little pup named uh, Izzy. Izzy's my favorite. Look up Izzy. Look how cute he is. Jesus look up Pup Christ. Academy Izzy. Um, he's super cute. <laughs> Cause he has one black ear. Oh yeah. No, he has two black ears, I think. And like in the middle of his head, it like goes white. Mm. And it's fuck. It's it's just super cute, man. <laughs> it's just super cute. Yeah, I, I love Izzy. Izzy's like the smart one, of course, because his name's Izzy, I guess. Yeah, check it out. Check out how cute that that. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, dude. It's like it's like it's like a little. He's thing. so distinguished. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like him because I feel like it's a kid. Oh, like yeah. a like a real human trapped in a dog's body. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his eyes. Yeah. Like this particular shot is like, save me. <laughs> there's a Pup Academy Reddit. Of course. There's oh yeah. There's a Reddit for everything. <laughs> Yo, there's like theories our, our, and stuff. Our piss sinkers or sink pissers. Or <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, I was I was getting into it, and oh That's my a god, cute dog. is so, that the stray? No, the stray okay. is that one. Oh, is he a boxer? I think. 
It's a she. Her name is oh, Spark. Oh, she. My bad. Yeah, her name is Spark. And, it uh, looks kind of like a box. So the, the 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 little girl. There's a husky. Yeah. So the husky is super cool because okay, so uh, the grandpa, the grandpa who runs the school. Yeah. I think the husky is his dog. Okay. And the, the husky is kind of like he's the one so who knows like, the prophecy, okay. and he's kind of like the principal. Yeah, he's like the principal of the pups. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, yeah. But I was a little bit disappointed because so. <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> so, uh, so the 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 husky dog, his name his name is DLG. DLG. DL, DLG. Dog. But the the way yeah the way they say it for literally hours I was like oh that's a cool name his name's DLG. Oh. Uh, and then I looked it up it's just DLG I was like you uncreative motherfucker. <laughs> it could have been cool you know. This Airbud is creatively bankrupt. Okay like <laughs> you're, just, you're telling Airbud that they don't have good ideas. <laughs> You know where a, we are? <laughs> Dude, I want a dog so bad. I got, I got to see my niece, Nala. And she's the best pup. What kind of dog is she? She's a pit bull. Ooh. I'll show you a picture. She's super yeah. cute. Put on Discord, too. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. the best. She was, like, sleeping with me and stuff. Because she loves her unky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, I kind of got addicted to. Uh... So you you hit this show like you hit Hardcore Henry. Yeah. You had your switch ready yeah. to be like, I this is for when I dip. Yeah. And then you were like, dude, there's like a whole like plot. <laughs> oh, how old is she? Uh, I think she's like six or seven. Oh. She's she's super cute. Yeah, she's the best. She just likes hugging and snuggling and stuff. Uh, and so there's like a, a, a like subplot too of a sp- so spark is a stray right right and um but is she really yeah she she really is um <laughs> she is like did, friends did with they follow her home to her fucking garbage can <laughs> yeah she like... lives in, a, in, a, in a, a refrigerator okay yeah damn <laughs> um well there's a refrigerator without the door it's like turned to the side oh sure and uh she like has like other stray friends well they're not really friends they're kind of like adult bully adult hobos for you <laughs> but uh one's a german shepherd his name is king and uh king helped her out one time when the other pups got in trouble with the uh dog catchers mm. so he was like you owe me one and she's like okay and he's like i want you to get me into pup academy and she's like how the fuck do you know about pup Acad- academy and he's like i used to go there and then it goes to flashbacks oh, when king was a pup and king was a stray and dog thought king was a was the one prophesized to to do it because he's because it's about straight oh, and a sure. boy and turns out that like he wasn't but he was like so they kicked him back what? to the streets no no he was he Holy was like shit he was, he had issues actually it was pretty deep like king, character development and yeah stuff. king had issues of like being abandoned because uh okay so remember I told you the the, the grandpa who runs the school yeah. and he has his grandson you're like man what what happened to the kid's dad the kid's dad died oh damn. And the kid's dad had King. Oh, shit. So King had what? abandonment issues because he's like, my master left me. No one cares about me. So he, like, kind of got angry and acted out. So he mm-hmm. had to kick kick him out of Pup Academy. So Dang. he wanted revenge on Pup Academy. So he got Spark to let him in. And they destroyed Pup Academy. Brutal. And uh, there's another sub, sub, like, sub story plot. And the plot. grandfather goes to the grandson and goes, you know what we have to do. Like, so the grandpa's <laughs> son died and then... His dog was King. Mm-hmm. And King became a stray. Why wouldn't he just adopt him? <laughs> uh, so I think rude. King acted out so much that he oh, like, couldn't sure. really oh. deal with him. Yeah. And then there's like a whole other subplot that I haven't got to with uh, Wolves. Wolves wanted to get into Public Academy. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't see the last episode. Amy saw the last episode. I was like, what happened? <laughs> she, she's like, yeah, the wolves came and they fought, and I was like, did they really fight? Did they like, was there blood? She's like, no, there's. Show- <laughs> <laughs> they didn't show any type of violence at all. Was that the tournament arc episode? Right. <laughs> but I was, I was expecting the pups to like go at each other, you know? Why? Because DLG. It's Airbud. DLG. <laughs> DLG is like a husky. He could he could put up a good fight against a wolf, and it was it was interesting. Yeah, you know? but then the granddad just comes out and goes. Like, you know, like, ah, there's the wolves at it again. Boom. Leave. Like, <laughs> so, there's your master. Dead and then the, there's like this uh, big uh, stone. This, uh, so there's a big dog uh, statue 
in front of Pup Academy. Yeah. And, uh, the big fucking Mayan prophecy stuff. Kinda, like, yeah. What uh, the fuck is this? Shit? Kinda, uh, <laughs> DLG. Uh, he keeps the stone, and he like says magic words. I think. And you, uh, the grandpa reached in, inside the stone, and pulled out a big rock. It was a bit, this big, like somewhat glowing rock. And DLG was like, at one point, it was glowing so bright I couldn't even look at it. Now look at. <laughs> Now look at it, and it's like just fainting, fainting, like in and out, mm-hmm. glowing. And he's like, we need the prophecy to be, uh, to be like, to- like made or something for it to come back, for the glow to come back. <laughs> Dude, they cared. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. All, that's also interesting because like, <laughs> someone, someone who's writing it, someone cared. You someone know? took the time, yeah, to like not just make a stupid kid show. But my only, my only gripe with it is that his name is D O G, not D O G. Why do you hate that? Because DLG is a cool name. Yeah, because it's a play on DLG, but it's not DLG. It's DLG. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. You don't know what his real name is. Maybe the D in DOG stands for DOG. It's just a bad <laughs> name. It's just, just a bad name. It. You just name your dog, dog. <laughs> no, no, no. Remember, it's it's DOG. So he has a full name. I know, it just but turns into dog. It's stupid. If you are saying that I'm stupid for calling my cat Kitty, I will throw down right now. You want to fucking catch these fists? I'm saying there's better names than Kitty, James. That's all I'm saying. This motherfucker. <laughs> you get a cat. I, yeah. I won't name her Kitty. That's what I thought. But, uh, yeah, so that was like our Christmas Eve. It's <laughs> watching Pup Academy. I watched like a solid four hours of Pup Academy, dude. <laughs> Damn. A solid, like... I, I couldn't, like, I was trying to play Mario, but I couldn't. Yeah, it's like one of those classic things where you're like, whatever. You'll yeah. just let him watch it. And then he's like, kind of whatever about it, but you're like, oh, yeah, the next like, episode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Darius, can we watch something else? <laughs> How do you not care about Yoji? Yeah. <laughs> do you not understand the prophecy, kid? <laughs> like, so, yeah, yeah I mean, that this, was. This did get Darius by the balls. He loves dogs too much. Yeah. Dude, I love dogs to the bus. Uh, and then, um,. That was like my Christmas Eve, and then uh, cr- on Christmas we watched uh, Soul, the new Pixar yeah, movie. Yeah, I saw oh, that. Yeah? How you saw it? Yeah, Joe, did you see the the cat with the vest and when he uh, on the hospital bed? Yeah, with yeah. The cat. <laughs> that was so funny, James. If you want to laugh or something, look up uh, Soul cat with vest. You might not get it. I don't know, but the cat with the vest was fucking perfect because he 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 was in a coma and he woke up out of the coma and he had like a, a cat with him. Yeah, it was, was a like, therapy cat. Yeah, it was like a therapy cat. It was, it was so fucking funny, dude. It, 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 the Spoilers, movie just came out. I guess, like, if we're gonna talk about it, yeah. Brutal. How but nice. um, but um, yeah. Soul was fucking good. I thought it was good narratively. Sometimes it's like a little all over the place. I feel like it was. Too, I feel like it was too deep for kids. When oh, I first sh- like the saw, message for sure. When I first saw Soul, I didn't like it. Like the the because I saw pictures of Soul before I saw trailers. Sure, Soul, yeah. right? And when I looked at it, I was like, this doesn't seem that great. I like the designs, but like I don't think I'd be into it. And then I saw a commercial over the break, and I was like, mm. no, hold up. Hold up. I think I could probably get into this. I think I could, it's, I think it's, I could like this. The message yeah. is straight up just about like the meaning of life. It's, it's kind of deep for kids. Because yeah. yeah. here's the thing, right? When I saw it, I, I thought this was going to be a kid-friendly How Stella Got Her Groove Back, right? Yeah. And I yeah. was like, eh, I don't know if I care that much about that. And then, but the trailer sold me on it. Like I, I, if if I had a chance to watch it, I would watch it. Yeah, you mm. know, yeah, it's, it's free on Disney Plus and not oh, like nice. the thirty dollars that they had you pay for Mulan. Yeah, nice. which is free no, now. Still, still need to get Disney Plus. To yeah, watch it, but well, I'm sure <laughs> it's good that it's not another thirty on top of the subscription. Yeah, but it was the message is like fucking deep for yeah. a dude. Like it's it's straight up just like a live your life. You yeah, don't have li- to. like live in the moment. Yeah. Live and like be present. The the trailer I saw too was all about how like the animators worked on stuff. Oh yeah. Like so the the pianist they got an actual pianist to like write all the song stuff. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And they recorded his fingers so when he's playing the piano, oh, yeah. that's the actual professional pianist's oh, wow. fingers moving on the proper keys. Mm-hmm. So like they went fucking. I mean it's it's Pixar. They they know what they're doing. Yeah yeah. Too. But like when I saw that I was like fuck good it's on good you. Touch, like yeah. fucking nailed it. So, I don't know. It looks great. I, Pixar doesn't make, like, bad movies. That's not true. The uh, Good Dinosaur is dog shit. Okay, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. Don't watch that's it. That's fair. 
<laughs> is it a complete waste it's of time? It's a waste of time. <laughs> like, legitimately a waste of time. Is the, is the good dinosaur based on something? Isn't uh, that a book? I don't know. Or am I fucking wrong? It, it might be a book. I don't know if it's before or after, but... I might change it to when Pixar makes original things, they tend to not be bad. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's original. Pixar didn't make the Croods, right? No, no that's DreamWorks. DreamWorks. Okay, fuck DreamWorks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> sorry, fuck the Croods. Hey. Shrek is uh, good. How to Train Your Dragon's Dream Work. That's fair. The third one wasn't great, but the second one's a near masterpiece. First I love one's that movie. amazing. Second one is the second one with his mom. Yeah. yeah, the second one I think is better, personally. Okay. I I had gripes with the second one, but that's just because I wish we actually got what they wanted us to have. I thought it was just a very limp in general. What? Like, uh, like th- a lot of the moments happening just felt limp near the what end. What do you mean? What do I mean? It's like, I just didn't like the the, the main villain. Like he, he, I'd have to rewatch it with you. Sure. But like, they bitched out because the mom was going to be the actual villain, and they were like, "Nah, fuck it. Oh. Can't have the mom be the villain. Got to have the spoilers for a fucking five year old movie. Got to have the dad die, but he's got his mom." Can't, yeah. can't can't go full and make red. the mom a villain because that would have actually been hype as shit. Yeah, I don't know. It, it would have been hype, but I liked the uh, what's the word for it? But the difference in like how they train dragons, oh, just totally. being like opposite of each other. I think that would have worked more because she's definitely like hiccup. So it would have been just more like. She wanted to kill the Vikings because they just didn't want to change, but like they obviously did. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, the story probably would have been completely different, but right. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like the the, the guy. It, it's the same thing of like why uh, uh, the Hun is just a mediocre villain in Mulan, even though he's dope. Sure. Is that he doesn't have a character. He's just evil. Yeah. And like that's the villain of there. So you look at him and you go. Okay. Have you seen the third movie? No. It's even worse. I, I, I it, he's a worse villain Cause than the, thing, the second one. I liked watching How to Train Your Dragon 2. Yeah. I just thought I liked the first one better. Sure. Because there were just points that I was like into. I was like, you could, you could, come on. Like, uh, I'm a sap for all that, that love shit, too. Oh, so, totally. like, when he was, like, singing to his wife after he saw him, like, fuck, dude. Oh, yeah. This it's just cute. <laughs> I just feel like his dad died for no good reason. It was like, yeah, ah, he got a parent back. Take one away. Is like legitimately how it felt when I was in the theater watching mm. it, and I was like, I don't know, it, like, it it got me. Oh, totally. Like it it did its job, but I was like, you didn't have to. You know, I was like, I y- guess. Y- it didn't even feel like a good way for him to go. Like, cause oh, he he's kinda... protecting his son. Yeah, but like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe you should watch it again. <laughs> I, I, maybe I should, but when I watched it, I was like. I don't know. I thought it was better than the first, personally. But totally fair. His yeah. opinions. I, I thought it was good. <laughs> yeah, it's a good movie. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> third one wasn't great. I haven't seen the third one. Yeah. You don't, like, really have to go out of your way to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's on and you want to watch it, then go for it. Yeah. Just remember, it's Noah's opinion not as good as the first two. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Soul was fucking, was, like, really deep, man. Yeah, it really made me like think about like my life and what like makes me happy and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's it was it was a lot of funny parts. With do you remember with with uh moon wind or moonlight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the hippie. So yeah, they go they go as as like souls, James. Yeah. They go into like this like pocket area. Yeah, it's the zone. Yeah, where like they like this is like where people come when like they feel like they're in the zone, right? Yeah. And and. They 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 like see there's a what lost souls okay. lost souls yeah so like anxiety ridden ones that yeah, are like in the zone but it's like for bad reasons yeah and they they look like monsters yeah like, like shadow monsters yeah and uh, this character that gets introduced he's on a uh, pirate ship and the cells are tie dyed hippie stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a sign spinner in new york yeah, and he's yeah, just he's, a total hippie yeah he, he's great he accesses he like he could gain access to like the spiritual plane where he's like zen down in his zone and he's just like <laughs> flipping the side yeah <laughs> it's he's like i'm in his own man not uh, not spoilers but like the ship goes down in one scene and then you see him in real life he just drops the sign and does the captain yeah. thing <laughs> 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 that character was fucking great. Yeah, he's man. he's he's awesome. Nice. But uh, yeah, the whole point of the movie is um the guy is about to die and he, then yeah. 
he's like he's like a soul and he's like i'm not trying to die and in like the plane of like i guess purgatory right uh it's the stairway to heaven yeah like basically pretty much children that are are about to be born yeah pretty much the before i guess where like the souls get their personalities yeah, and stuff yeah. like that there's a he's like there and you're like you're supposed to help people out so like some some children get mentors like abraham lincoln or like homer or something yeah, yeah. mother Teresa. homer is in the odyssey homer yeah yeah yeah, yeah. stuff like just that. wanted to make sure <laughs> yeah, yeah. homer like, simpson yeah. and like, like you pretty much that one. yeah you'll like mentor a soul be like hey isn't cooking really dope you should do this and like that's their spark and like they go to earth mm-hmm. and become that and there's one that like they're like we tried everyone on her she just doesn't care <laughs> she's like she yeah. doesn't care about life and it's like scenes with she she was with abraham lincoln and she's muhammad with, ali yeah, and muhammad mother <laughs> Teresa, yeah. and they're all like you're a dog shit person yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like he like he's like if she can get her badge to go back to earth i could take it from her because she doesn't care about living yeah she doesn't <laughs> technically want to live so right, if yeah. we find her spark she'll give it to me so i can go back to being alive and they go back to earth not very not the way they really want to so she ends up in his body he he ends up in a cat mm. <laughs> nice yeah he's like i have to do i reason he's trying to go back to the earth because he's like big break it's tonight he's yep. like I, I gotta play with someone tonight i can't lose this. this is all i care about this is like my life is good after this and like the whole point is the journey of like she finds out living's dope yeah and like he finds out that it's not all about that one moment you know yeah so it's, it's really good and deep mm-hmm. I, I, I yeah this saying like, that uh the the what is it what does she play the saxophone when she's like uh, i heard a story about a fish oh who, yeah, yeah like yeah. talk to an old fish and he's like i'm looking for the ocean and he's like we're in the ocean and he's like this isn't the ocean this is water what i want is the ocean and I was like, shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah. I'm not seeing the forest for the trees or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a good movie. Yeah, it's dope. And then um, I watched uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, the Chadwick Boseman and Viola, Viola Davis movie. It's Chadwick Boseman's last movie. Oh, sure. On Netflix. Mm. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. The writing is fucking phenomenal. Give that man his Oscar. Yeah. His He like his performance. Yeah, his performance in that movie is incredible, <laughs> dude. It's crazy, dude. Like, like give you chills, good. Yeah. And Viola Davis too. She kills it. And it's one of those movie where it's one of those movies where um, it just takes place over like one day, mm. so it's like a quick get in and get out movie. Nice. It's really good. I, I would suggest that. And then I watched Tenant on f- Wednesday. That movie's a mind fuck. Yeah, I, I legit, <laughs> the way he, like, deflated, I thought he was going to be like, it's not that good. <laughs> that movie. Uh, the, 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 I mean, the, it's a Nolan film. The, the, the like, you you seen the previews, right, of, like, them going backwards and shit? Oh, yeah, with, like, the buildings and shit? Yeah. yeah. I would, That's all I've seen about the entire yeah. fucking movie. <laughs> but the, the, the one, like, the plot of the movie is, like, shit's going backwards. Okay. It's only certain indiv- individual items are going backwards. And you need to find out why. And oh, and it's just happening. Like that's a thing that's just happening. Period. In the world. Nah, kind of. Uh, they, somebody they're they're like we know there's an arms dealer out there selling bullets that are, are like inverted, and other things that could be inverted. We don't know who. You need to find it out. Okay. So that's what the movie's about, and it's just a big mind fuck, <laughs> and like. <laughs> That night, I, I was having dreams about just, like, shit going backwards. Oh, yeah. Because it's like the, the, there's, like, fight scenes of, like, one, like, one the main character is fighting someone who's inverted. Mm. So, it's just, it's, it's a weird, crazy fight scene of, like, huh. of them. Like, he walks, for example, he walks into a room, and there's glass in the room. And he looks at the glass, and there's bullet holes in the glass. And then it clicks. He's like, the fight has already happened. And then the guy comes out of the fucking box and starts fighting them, and then the bullets start going. And it's it's fucking crazy, man. Shit. <laughs> Shit. So like he's inverted, but the person he's fighting. I mean, the main character isn't inverted, but the person he's fighting is inverted, and it's fucking. It's just insane, dude. 
So could he have feasibly just walked away? I mean, because yeah. if he had walked away from that fight, it would just play out. Though he'd be like, "Oh, so that's no that man happened. has the power to fight his." Wait, he, 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 they were in there trying to get something. So, <laughs> so if he walked away, it would he wouldn't have been. They were like under a strict time limit. It was like a heist thing. Yeah. So like we gotta get in and get what we gotta get, and then if we don't, then we're fucked. Yeah. So and then like he's he went into the inverted world and they were, they were explaining like the rules. They were like, okay. You're about to be inverted. You're about to go into, like, the past, but everything works reverse. So, like, you have to have an oxygen mask on because you can't breathe, like, inverted air. And fire is, like, fire is, like, super cold. And, like, cold is, like, super hot. And, like, it was just a bunch of crazy shit. And I, you can't watch it once to understand it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Robert Patterson did a phenomenal job. Mm. I, I appreciate him. To I'm, give you hope for Batman. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Denzel Washington Jr., his name is John Washington. He did great, too. His beard was so strong in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, was, uh, I'm interested to see uh, what's coming next from Nolan. Yeah. I think Nolan, I think he he's at that point where he's getting, like, his budgets are too big. Yeah. So he's just he's doing whatever the fuck he wants. And, like, wow. there's, a there's like, a war scene at the end that's kind of pointless. And he, you, you know, he just did it because he's like, I can. Yeah. Yeah. So. Fair. <laughs> so speaking of uh, other movies, we still have you seen the trailer for uh, the Little Things? Is what it's called, right? Oh yeah, the Little Things. Yeah. I'm not sure. Bro, the Little Things is it's Denzel, right? Denzel. Uh, the guy from Mr. Robot, uh, Remy Malik, mm. right? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. Remy Malik and Jared Leto. Yeah. And it's like a fucking cop murder mystery movie. Oh, yeah. But like, dude, A, I was getting like true detective vibes from it a lot. Okay. Granted, it was all Jared Leto because he looks like fucking older Matthew McConaughey yeah. sure. a little bit. Like he's got that like he's a skid look. Like he's like, I work on cars and do drugs, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and like, dude, it looks fucking great. And I'm down. at first I was going to make a joke. Because when there's the girl that Denzel is looking at mm-hmm. in, like, the beginning of the trailer, I was like, is this another movie with Denzel Washington being with a, like, little white girl? Like, how many of these does Denzel Washington have? Because <laughs> it's like, man on fire. Uh, like, but no, it looks fucking great. We'll watch the trailer later. Right, yeah, it's it's sure. one of those things of, like, who is the killer? Okay. Yeah. Like, most definitely one of those, like... I'm going to send you I'm a message, by the, the way, Noah, on Discord. Okay. Because I'm going to send a message about the little things. So you don't have to look at this. Yeah. Uh, the little things, and we still never showed Darius from last time we all hung out. What a uh, uh, face, face movie things, deep fakes. Deep fake. So we need to show him deep fakes before he leaves. Sure. So I'm gonna make a list so we don't forget <laughs> the things to show people. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that that looks good. Like I, I can't wait to watch that movie. I'll yeah, watch yeah. that shit with you. I'm guys. a fan of Jared Leto. I think yeah, he's, he's a great actor. He's yeah, he's super super good. The only thing I know about him is that he's in Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's literally I, the I, only. I saw uh, Mister Nobody. That's a really good movie. Let me look up a list of his movies because I had him right. Uh, what's the Nicolas Cage movie he was in? Um, Arms Diller. Mm, not 100 percent sure. No, it wasn't. Nicolas Cage was an Arms Diller, but um. Oh, right. He's in Fight Club. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Uh, I think I know what character he is, but I want to make sure. Yep. Yep. He's the blonde guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, th- I thought it was him, but I didn't want to fucking <laughs> blow my ass out here. The little's great. I think the only other movie that I've seen him in is Mr. Nobody. That's a super good movie. Yeah, uh, I I appreciate his acting. I've seen the trailer so. for Mister Nobody, but I've never. Seen it case me every time I see him, I just think about Morbius though, and yeah. like how fucked that movie is because <laughs> there's no release date anymore. It's Lord of War is the uh, yeah Nicholas Lord Cage of War. Thing Have about. you seen that? No, no. Was like that the arms dealer it. one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I vaguely know about it, but I haven't seen it. But yeah, there's just no release date in Morpheus because Sony doesn't know what they're gonna yeah. do with it. It's like at this point, just put it on Netflix, dude. Just yeah, call it a wrap. I'll watch it. Yeah, you I know? definitely want to watch it. Yeah, if we know it's filmed. It's done. Oh, is it finished? Finished? Yeah, it was supposed huh. to come out in March. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. <clears throat> Same thing with Black Widow, man. Like yeah, theaters Black are Widow's fucked. Done, done. Yeah. Oh, have you seen uh, Wonder Woman? I haven't seen it. 
the new one nah, that I'd, came out Christmas. Harry I, I still refuses to yeah. give money to DC. Yeah. It's on HBO. I know. You okay. see that view yeah. counter go up by one, <laughs> and he can't. He doesn't, in good conscience, want to do that. That's fair. <laughs> uh, Tyler, my roommate, was saying that it's you can pass. Yeah. It's not great. No. Yeah. I mean, it's all DC movies. Yeah. <laughs> Most DC movies. Joker was fine. I, Batman I, Forever is the I, best Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I learned today? Apparently, uh, the Seal song "Kiss from a Rose" is about cocaine. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Weird. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. So mm. that's, a, that's a fact. <laughs> Shit. Speaking of music facts, I blew Darius's mind last week. Told him that uh, "Pumped Up Kicks" is about a fucking school shooting. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you talk to Amy about yeah, that? Yeah, she, she's like, it's too late. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, Leo was singing it. Oh, and really? And he was like, yeah. ha, 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 Darius, put it on. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, you got it. That's a good song, Beep. And then I told him. And, like, I felt so Dude. bad because I watched the wind leave his sails. Oh, yeah. he was like, he was humming You're fucking it. fucking right. And I was like, yeah, dude, I was like. Wow, you sw- I don't remember, you were singing one song and then you switched to that one and I was like, wow, switching from a song about blank to school shootings and you were like, what? Pumped up kicks? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, is that about school shootings? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then it, and then I watched him like mouth yeah, the, the lyrics <laughs> and I'm like, better run, than my better bullet. run. Fast. <laughs> it's such a big song, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's the instrumentation that gets you. <laughs> yep. It's so happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently one of the people uh, who wrote that song because it's a duo mm-hmm. um, one of them got bullied in high school and the other one um, his cousin survived Columbine oh shit so, like, yeah they I thought had it was specifically reasons. about Columbine yeah well uh, so people think that like the people think it is but I guess they just said it was generic sure I did a lot of research after Derek it just so happened it. Uh... exactly and uh, the, the main character and its name is Robert and they were like is that the school shooter from blank and he, they're like no 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 <laughs> it no, 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 just, no, no. just happened to be <laughs> the name we chose <laughs> like we didn't fucking pick that school shooting to write about like it's all school shootings because america has a lot of them yeah gotta love america america, america. yo I, heard, I found out some super cool dope news uh fast and furious has a children's <laughs> children's uh tv show on netflix what yeah dude it's called fast and furious like race to the sahara or something and uh, I, I I just saw the preview. Should I write this down. Is this gonna be a long topic? No, I, I didn't watch it. I haven't I haven't watched it yet. But uh, the preview, uh, they didn't. Dom, and none of the main characters are in there, but someone's name is Toretto. Toretto. Yeah, I'm so, not familiar. No, Toretto is Dominic's. Is Dom's last name? I I, I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, have but you not seen Fast and Furious? I, I've seen Fast and Furious, but it's been a really long time yeah. since I've actually watched it. So, 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 oh, it's the animated. Furious spy racing. Yeah, it's fucking animated. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. They're on season three, baby. What? Yep. That's insane. And uh, yeah, uh, Terrible. Van Diesel's character's name is Dom- Dominic Toretto. So, huh. so, one of the kids' last name is Toretto. So. Oh, is he like voicing them? No, no, okay. I think I think they're just related to Dom somehow oh, sure. because I don't think they're using like the real like right. They're their own people. Yeah, because I don't. They probably just don't want to pay their actors to yeah. use their likeness, which is understandable. I wouldn't do that either. <laughs> but man, Fast and Furious, dude, it's just, it makes so much money, dude. It's an American classic. It's so weird. Spy Racers Rio. Apparently, it's got to be season two, huh? Probably. Uh, fucking. When when we saw this, Amy looked at me. I was like, "Are they spies?" She's like, she's asking me if like the Fast and Furious movies, like, yeah. are they about are oh, they about sure. spies? I was like, "No, now they are." <laughs> no. Now they are. I mean, <laughs> they don't work for the government. <laughs> They're literally just like glorified street racers who do hero shit now. Oh sure. For no reason. <laughs> Because they drive cars. Because they have to be good. heroes. <laughs> yeah. So they can't be doing everything illegally. <laughs> yeah. Yo, dude. Fast and Phaser Spy Racers X Roblox. What? Nice. The fuck? <laughs> Fast and Furious is bigger than you think, James. It's no, everywhere. I'm aware how big it is. It doesn't change that it's shit. It deserves all <laughs> the fame. It deserves Fast and Furious is, is cool, gold. James. That fro doesn't deserve any frame, Darius. Okay, <laughs> that's a checklist. Okay, <laughs> fuck it. Hey, if Fast and Furious is good for one thing, is for like having color in uh in his uh, cast. Yeah, I'm glad the main character is still a white guy for most of it. 
mean, yeah, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is the main character still Vin Diesel? <laughs> yeah, he's Vin Diesel, Hold but he's talking char- about Paul Walker. The main character was never Vin Diesel. F- but it was Paul Walker. F- Fast Furious <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, and three. They're all white guys, the main characters. I'll say it now. Vin Diesel bumped off Paul Walker. This was an inside job. Oh my god, Damn. James! No, <laughs> you can't talk about a hero like that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna get? Fucking. Uh, 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 I forgot the name of the fucking Amazon show. Do you want the, the Wrath? Heroes? Do you want the Wrath of the Fast oh, and Furious community to destroy our podcast? I'm sorry, Fast and Furious community. I respect Fast and Furious. I don't. It is an American classic and deserves all the respect it gets. Well, if they're going to destroy our podcast, they better be coming at me, Fast and Furious. You proud of that? Not really. Like, no, <laughs> I'm proud about watching the Fast and the Furious. I love Fast and Furious. Fuck you. <laughs> Fast and Furious is a good franchise. Okay. <laughs> 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 I just let that hard sit. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of talked about my Christmas already. No, you kind of talked about yours a little bit. Did I? A little Did bit. You talked talk. about Nala. And, and, oh, yeah. Uh, no. She, she's the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, uh, I went to my dad's, and we had, like, Christmas Eve there. He made, like, steak, chicken, a bunch of stuff because he loves cooking. Got some awesome presents. I got Stonehouse's Anatomy book, which is like a 652 page all about like the skeletal and muscle systems and stuff and wow. how the form works and all of it. And I honestly just can't wait to read it. I like got through the foreword and like the introduction, which talked about like evolution. Like when he was a kid, he like drew a dog, but like the legs were straight, but like the dog's legs are like the weird kind of S shape. And he's like, I wonder why that is. And he like asked his teacher who was like a Christian. He's like, that's just how God dealt with it. And he's like, I was shy. So like, I kind of just accepted that. But then later he was like, it's kind of similar to like how we are, but like their reason for having those legs was different for how we have ours. Mm -hmm. So like they're built for like running and ours are built for like weight distribution and being able to carry our weight. Mm. And just like how, yeah, just evolutionary and stuff like that. And he like goes back into like how like LG kind of evolved a certain way to like kind of bring us to where we are just as like an introduction to all of this. And I'm like, fuck dude, this is, this is super fucking interesting. <laughs> Got way deeper than you expected. Oh, yeah. Fucking uh, anatomy book to go. Yeah. Before you draw a muscle, you must understand how that muscle. Yeah. Just like like his thought process about it was like similar to mine, I guess. Just like trying to figure out like reasons why. Mm -hmm. I just. (laughs) Another funny thing was Kim Jong gi wrote like a foreword for it. And he was like, this is like, hits the nail on the head. And then there's like a little thing he put in percent. (laughs) <laughs> whatever <laughs> can't fucking speak today but he was like just i'm I'm sure having my endorsement in this just automatically gives it more credibility <laughs> and then he drew like pictures of everybody who like did for- forwards and he had kim jong-e drawing a picture of himself nice, <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah uh. but like there were even like doctors and like uh physical like education people who like wrote forwards and were like this is like the most comprehensive anatomy book that I've ever re- read. And I'm good. like, look at this. Yeah, so you, you got to bring it over sometime. I thought about bringing it, but I was like, I don't know if we'd have like time to actually like look at it. Yeah. But goddamn, <sighs> fucking, I bought like bookmarks and like sticker bookmarks and stuff so I could like take notes. And I bought like a journal specifically to like take notes and stuff. Nice. And I think I left those fucking bookmarks and stuff <laughs> back in Wisconsin. <laughs> My brother said he didn't see them in his car, so. Maybe they're just... I didn't see them when I was taking stuff out. Yeah. Hopefully. Take another look sort of deal. Yeah. And then after that, went to my mom's Christmas day. Got to hang out with my grandpa who I haven't seen in a few years, which is great. Nice. That's awesome. I'm sure you'd get along with your dad a lot. Oh, yeah? He's, he's like the hunter type. <laughs> <laughs> that that hunter, hunter motherfucker type guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> real salt of the earth <laughs> <laughs> and then i hung out with my brother and his girlfriend and my niece nala because she the best she the best <laughs> i gotta, I gotta I was box super that chill. dog like you box all of my cats yeah <laughs> the, their other dog henry kept fucking with her <laughs> and it's just like he's like this little rat dog and he has like 
a very tiny head, but his like body is like a cat with like super long legs, and he's like lithe and yeah. he looks super weird. <laughs> you'll you'll need to show us pictures. Is he a mud? Yeah, his mud I forget what, which breed of Japanese dog, but his mom was like a small Japanese dog, and his father was like a golden retriever mixed with a pit bull. Oh, he a, he looks like a rat. Mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll ask my brother for a picture, I guess. <laughs> for sure. I want to see this weird little shit that your brother calls a rat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I call him a rat. <laughs> he was like pulling out my like hoodie and stuff all the time. He tried to hump my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, <"Motherfuck." laughs> he has like a stuffed duck that they just call his fuck duck because he's always <laughs> humping it. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> But yeah, it is super chill. Uh, Christmas sounds super nice. It was nice. Yeah, I played board games with Trisha's parents and uh, had fun with it. Yeah, did you said something about a board game with him. Yeah, Noah got. Yeah, a board I got game. a got the Dune board game. God, how complicated is that? It's <laughs> extraordinarily complicated. This is <laughs> but uh, w- the cool thing about it is that the factions that you can play as are like obviously the factions in the series. But each of them are, like, specifically really, really good at one aspect of the game. Did you bring it? I didn't bring it with because it'd probably take us, like, two hours to try and figure it out. And I it's wanted Resident to... Evil for, uh, the board game. Yeah. Uh, 2.0. Yeah. But, uh, like, the Harkonnens are, like, traitorous and stuff like that. So there's, like, a mechanic where e- everybody gets, like, one or two traitors. And if you use, like, a person in battle to give you, like, more points... Uh, if you have the trader card for that, that person automatically loses the battle and they just lose all of their u- units. And instead of like two, the Harkonnens get like five of them and they get to like pick and choose who they want. Oh. And to like put troops into Arrakis, you have to like pay spice to another faction. So like they're like super wealthy all of the time, but like you actually have to like manage your spice. Are there worms in the game? I believe so one of the main mechanics with dune is that uh there's a storm that like wraps around and the fremen faction knows like how many zones that uh storm is going to move so if you're caught out in the open you lose all of the units in that zone and the fremen will know like oh i can just stay people here for like the next turn because the uh storm won't hit me what what is paul's people called the atreides theirs is super cool um because uh, Paul has like prescient power. There's like a bidding. Uh, What's prescient power? Uh, like he future can see sight. the future. Okay, okay. So there's like a bidding war for like items, but it's blind, and the Atreides can know like what they're bed- bidding for. So it's like everybody gets something. So the, yeah. whoever made it did their research. God damn oh it. yeah, <laughs> there's like actually like tournaments and stuff for this board game, and it's like super old, but like. It's very, very, like, in-depth with the mechanics and stuff. Yeah, I super want to play it. Is it up to, like, six players? Like, can oh, every yeah, faction yeah, yeah. be playing at once? Absolutely. And there's the Benny Gesserit faction that I was telling James about, but one of their main mechanics is that they can choose... I think there's only, like, ten rounds max or something, mm-hmm. but they can choose the round and the faction. And if that faction wins on that round, the Benny Gesserit win. Mm. Because they implant it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's yeah, like, like they, fucking did it. they absolutely like went out of their way to like, the fuck actually you make it. <laughs> Whoever you want. Maybe. I wouldn't even yeah. know. Like, but if anybody picks a Harkonnen, you know, to kill them. Yeah, in the Harkonnens, life. like late game, they kind of suck, but they're really good at battling and like fighting. So y- you can like try and win super early with them. It's just different play styles and stuff. <laughs> so I'm like kind of excited to play. Yeah, I'm so the Harkonnens are red. In. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> they play fast. <laughs> but yeah, it seems super neat. I'm super excited for that. I don't know. It's not 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 a whole lot more to really talk about. We got our our top blanks of the blank, you know, because mm-hmm. it's yeah, the what, end of the year. Yeah, was a. Uh, you want to do favorite favorite game favorite yeah. movie i think we should do TV favorite series? favorite favorite yeah just we'll just we'll just rapid fire our favorite period like things because yeah. i don't think we could do top tens right now we did not give oh, it enough yeah. thought no like i don't you even brought know it on shit. me like an hour before the podcast hey, we're man, like you we're doing year ends you should have known i guess <laughs> so we're doing game movie tv show or yeah and remember we're gonna do this like the game awards so if you watched it this year it counts <laughs> <laughs> 
Dune for best series of the year. <laughs> <laughs> that shit came out like the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, we can start with favorite game. All right, James. What games came out this year? Shit, Hades. Oh. Kind of. Hades. Kind of. Ghost of Tsushima is probably gonna be my number one sure. actually. Because like Resident Evil Three was good. Yeah. I loved Resident Evil Three, but it wasn't as good as Two. Devil May Cry Five. SE. Fuck that. Well, no, Devil May Cry 5 came out this year, too. Did it? No, yeah, I don't think so. Year. Wasn't that March? No, it wasn't this year. I do, I, I'm pretty sure it came out 2019. I wouldn't yeah, know, I yeah. guess. I was right, but it's 2019. But, sure. Uh, Sekiro is 19. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, so were you picking Noah? For, for a game? Yeah. I honestly have to think. Fuck. I mean, mm, sure, I'm missing something. Uh, I recently have had the most fun with uh, probably uh, Shadowlands, World of Warcraft's newest expansion. Yeah, what a liar. Sorry, it's like I, I typed in video games of 2020 oh. and it's like Halo Infinite, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Got him. Uh, Oh, Valorant came out this year. Valorant did yeah. come out this year. That's, yeah, that's up there for sure. Yeah, I mean, there there is a lot of good stuff. Uh, Last of Us 2 came out this year. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake came out this yeah, year. Yeah, that's, that's the one I'm trying to figure out if I want to pick Final Fantasy or Last of Us. Yeah, no, I I, I think I'll stick with mine. I think Ghost of Tsushima is my, yeah. my game of the year. That's fair. I just, I love the story and the characters, and they did their research. They fucking, they fucking got it. So to finish it. Yeah, you really do, because I want to talk to you about that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd give mine to Valorant and Shadowlands are kind of close. Yeah. Yeah. I've had, like, just so much fun playing Shadowlands. Oh, man. This motherfucker S- sprung it on us so fast. Something's tell me he's... just, uh, it's between Final Fantasy and Last of Us, and something's tell me lean toward Final Fantasy. Because I was going to say, what gave you more joy? Right, like what, 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 like you really enjoyed? Because Last of Us Two gave you a good story, and it's like really good what it did. But did it make you happy? Yeah, it made me happy. Made you. Um, you fucking sick freak. Um, <laughs> for some reason, I just think about that scene in Final Fantasy Seven where you're in a tournament, the Underground Fight Club. Yeah. And when the announcers like announce what you're doing. That really, really just brought it home. Yeah, I don't know why. Is the, that small detail of them making that, programming that to, it just made me. It, I, I, I gotta give it the edge over Last of Us. That's fair. Know. See, I was gonna say it was the the Honey Bee, Honey Bee in dance. or whatever the dance. <laughs> Absolutely, best best scene in the whole game. Uh, but yeah, especially I, when they talk to him afterwards, because <laughs> he's like. He's like in a dress, and Tifa's like, "Wow, you look great." And he's like, "Yeah, not the time. Thank you, though." <laughs> like, yeah, I know, I killed it, but <laughs> yeah, I gotta give it Final Fantasy VII because uh, I, I love what they did with Barrett. Barrett was the star of that game, Dude, for Barrett's sure. Fucking stand out, amazing. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love the Last of Us. I love it, but Barrett and. Just like what the love they put into that game, I felt so. I gotta give it to to Final Fantasy VII for my favorite game of twenty twenty. Yeah, that's ab- absolutely fair. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't mind replaying it. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you should play it, dude. Last of Us. No, no uh, Final, Final Fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think you. I think you'll like it. And it's not a huge commitment. It's yeah, it's only like a portion of the game. Yeah, it's right? like forty hours, I think. Yeah, I think I beat it in like 35, 40 ish. Yeah. And I dicked around a lot. Yeah, and that's if you do everything, yeah. Pro tip none of us really watched a movie this year. Yeah. I watched movies this year. Trying so Darius think. watched a movie this year. I watched plenty of <laughs> movies this year. <laughs> uh, Mulan. Yeah, Mulan. Oh, uh, man. Movie of the year? I gotta say, the one that brought me the most joy is Bad Boys 4 or uh, 3. Fuck, we did watch that! Bad Boys Jeez. 3 was like. I gotta say, Bad Boys Three as well, because I think it's the only movie I watched this year. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> I was waiting so long for it, and I, I thought it was gonna be bad, but it was fucking good, man. It was, I, like I told you guys about my uh, no, I was telling James, I was telling James and Kevin 
about my thing with Will Smith. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a Will Smith ad came up. It was just like I was watching YouTube, and Will Smith ad came up. And he started talking. Oh, man, his head is huge. <laughs> no, it's small, dude. That's a rat. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he, he looks like a sex criminal. <laughs> <laughs> when he looks at you, like, dead on, his eyes are, like, kind of... <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Put Discord, dude. Show, uh, show everybody in Discord. Oh, right. Everybody else at Discord, which is... I don't know. Yeah, but when uh, I asked him for a picture, I'm like, send me a picture of the rat. <laughs> <laughs> Post it in the. You can post it in the general or the announcements now, and just be like, "Hey guys, like here's a here's a sneak preview of the Monday podcast." But uh, yeah, B- Bad Boys, like, oh yeah, the Will Smith thing. A preview came on to whatever he was like trying to advertise, and like I heard his voice. I just felt like he was like my friend. I felt like he's been my lifelong friend because like I. <laughs> I know, like, I've been watching Will Smith my whole life, man. <laughs> I've been watching him my whole life. I, I care about him. And, uh, yeah, it was just nice seeing him return back to form with Martin and uh, Bad Boys 3. And they, it was some good funny parts, like that part on the scene where he was talking about, who fucks someone called a witch without a condo? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, on the plane, <laughs> was the like, plane. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we switch seats? Do you mind? <laughs> So yeah, that was a. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many movies I watch. The only one that's coming to mind is the My Hero movie, which I did legitimately enjoy. Yeah, My Hero movie was really good. Did we watch that in February? I think so. It was before yeah. COVID, yeah. obviously. But oh yeah. Yeah, it was February. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it was this year. Yeah. That was a good movie. Yeah. Did we watch? No, Star Wars was last year. It was. It was just December. Yeah, it was last December. Year. Yeah. yeah. I wanted it to be Dune, but. Same. Let's just say Dune. Dune was the best movie Honestly. of 2020. <laughs> no, we gotta wait all the way to October for that. Yo. Yep. I wanna watch it so bad. Dude. Darius, are you gonna watch read Dune? Uh, Did you get the uh, audiobook stuff like you were talking about? No, I totally forgot. I should do that. Yeah, if you, you wanna borrow the hardcover, I can give you mine. I'm not gonna. No. Yeah. <laughs> I like to like read it and James like, got me the it. Witcher book collection a year ago. Oh sure. <laughs> it took me almost a year to read both those books. Yep, yeah, and you have yeah. three of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, yeah, I, I gotta go with Bad Boys. And yours is my hero. I guess so. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean it's it's one of the movies you could. Never mind. I was gonna I, say, you I'm could say sh- like Soul, but I was like, no, you like my hero more than Soul. Yeah, Soul is good, but I don't know. Shit, this one's basically only for you two. What's your guys' album of the year? Album, album of the year? Yeah, yeah, yeah we gotta check was... the phone real quick. Yeah, <laughs> this one was... I don't know, this year was kind of slacking when it comes to music. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't really music, so... Uh, I don't really, you know... Ooh, S16. Woodkid's new album is really good. Pretty sure, yeah. Circles. Came oh, out man. God damn it, that came out in 2019. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think I'm going to say S16 by Wood Kid, but I want to shout out Krill because they're super underground and their music's amazing. Did you listen to that, that Logic album? No, I don't really listen to logic uh, not that i don't like him i just like heaven okay. really can't trust that alien man uh i gotta go with uh detroit too big shine that was uh oh yeah yeah i've been waiting for the album for a, a very long time and he delivered and he like his growth it's just as a human being and as a as an artist really Ooh. really shined on this album and so this is just like a nice positive uh, enjoyable experience yeah. from beginning to end yeah so you went, you said, uh, Big Sean, you said... S16 by Woodkid. Wood Kid. Yeah. <clears throat> series? made me feel. Series of the year? Like, a uh, television series? Yeah. Great Pretender. 100%. Yeah. That's fair. Love that fucking series. I think like Tyler's watching it right now. Or I'm watching it with him, but he's loving it. Everybody needs to watch it. I gotta go with uh, Lovecraft Country. That, that series really, <laughs> really made me pay attention and, it, like, made my imagination just really work. Because mm-hmm. yeah. a lot of crazy, 
shit happens in that series, and <laughs> I just couldn't stop watching. It's fair. The second it came on, to the second it went off, man. It was super interesting. As much as uh, as much as I'd hate to say it, but B stars, I think, is what I'm gonna have oh, yeah. to do because that's the only thing I've watched this year that came out this year. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the animation's Dang. fucking fantastic. B-Star is great. They hold up. Some people like it when I do this. So, hey Trisha, did we watch anything that came out this year, TV show wise? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> B stars. B stars it is. B stars <laughs> number one. <laughs> Are we watching? Uh, detective but yeah but that came out yeah. <laughs> like forever ago six years ago <laughs> that's why if we went by game awards rules that's yeah. the best show i watched this year <laughs> no um you saw the first episode of great pretend <laughs> kind of yeah fuck we gotta we gotta finish true detective man yeah let's watch episode after this these out at the proper time huh? hey. well that covers it yeah that's, that's <laughs> you know it's albums shows movies and games alright um hopefully next year will be better best sickness yeah. of the year goes to COVID Co- COVID-19 <laughs> COVID-19 <laughs> best strong <sickness. laughs> hey man it's putting up numbers you know yeah exactly <laughs> you know? can't deny them can't deny them <laughs> uh best election of the year uh yeah. United States election. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Best upset of the year is Biden winning that. Yeah. Like that. Like that a lot. You know. But he didn't win. It was all fraud. It was all fraud. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Complete voter fraud. <laughs> uh, you guys, got any other bullshit bests? Of the year? No, it was a pretty shitty year. Best. Uh, best plush in Noah's hands right now of the Dang. year. Hollow Kitty. Hollow Kitty from Sk- uh, Number One. Yeah, from uh, Penny and Stock. <laughs> I almost said Skull Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they they Best could manga be of the year. girls for sure. It's true. Well, it's on you, dude. <laughs> what? It's on you, dude. I don't know what you said. Best manga of the year. Oh, best. Oh, that came out this year. <laughs> I don't know. I would I would say best run of the year. Best for run like, of the year. Like, did One Piece have a good run this year? My hero. My hero. Fucking, dude, yeah. My hero's fantastic. My hero's fucking best shonen true. for sure. I'm so upset that they announced fucking season four because it means Darius isn't gonna read oh. it. It's coming out <laughs> in March, right? Uh, something yeah. I don't I don't know. You paid attention. I didn't. Yeah, I think, uh, up. Where do you think that's gonna stop? Probably oh, villain it's, upgrades. It's 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 gonna stop. Uh, if anything, it's gonna stop at the end of the villains. I think. Villain upgrades, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah my villain academia like a, yeah. is probably because after my villain villain academia. Yeah. Because it's gonna pop off with the. Uh, it's one A versus one B. Yeah, yeah, one A versus one B, and then it goes. And then from it's that, my villain. My villain academia, unless they make those like fifteen minutes each, which they That's shouldn't. A decently long arc. Yeah, too, my villain. They, yeah, I don't know. Fuck, dude, top hat magician dude's popping off yeah, last dude, chapter. Compressed. Holy shit, dude. Bro, this oh, shit is getting so as good. like like Hunter Hunter like, dark with how these fights. Is it are going. ending? Is this the end? No, kind. Of, it's it seems close. It's it's the end of pre time skip. Yeah, like <laughs> like. Uh, are you think we're gonna get a time skip? I think we have. Okay, we're not gonna know. get a time skip. I still think that they're going to smuggle I don't know Deku out of Japan. They can't time skip because. The- uh, if he's allowed time to recover, it's just over. Well, he's already gonna fucking get time. Well, to yeah, he's but out, like, you know, they like, can't skip five years because then he's like at a hundred, and then it's like the world ends. It's true. I don't like Deku's new power. Oh no, yeah, I, I honestly am it's not liking Deku. Complete right now. fucking waste. I just, <laughs> I was talking yeah. with Dan about it, and he's like, I hate cool. it. Spider sense. Yep. Spoilers, awesome. dog. Jesus. You get spider it, sense. Yeah. Spider Sense is an amazing power. Yeah, it's amazing. But but if you give Spider it's, Sense, it's not to really Superman, Spider it's Sense. It's too fucking broken. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Deku already has a lot, so giving him Spider Sense is like, okay, cool. so what's even going to be able to touch him? Yeah. And especially since quirks get stronger as you use them. Yeah. He's gonna be able to burning building two blocks away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Shigaraki is coming. He's five miles away, and he's on his way here. Yeah. Like, I can smell him. Spider Sense, sorry. Returning to the status quo after this arc is oh, yeah, not possible. Exactly. Either Deku is going to be fucking shipped out to America or somewhere else, because mm. Japan is fucked. 
or yeah, but like he almost can't. He ne- he needs to stop him. Well, he's, he can't he's not, leave. He's not going to stop him here. Of course, yeah. you know. So like, but I'm saying like he he doesn't have time, really. Well, I mean, Shigaraki. Like, not. Whatever. Can't, we can't really yeah. talk about this right. like how we want to. <laughs> <laughs> You you are free to dub it for me, James. You got it. You come over here and shut your eyes, and I'll fucking I'll fucking read it off to you, baby. The grapist says <laughs> it'll be the best fan dub of the world. I thought Ghost Adventures was good. Ghost Stories, just you fucking wait. Get Dan in on it. I think we'd all be down. Matt would hop in, yeah. put his dubbing talents to the word. I'm Makanuichi. <laughs> Uh, fuck! What do you, do you guys got anything else to to talk about? I mean, that's the end of it. Yeah, it's the end of the year, man. Yeah, there's a good. I mean, it, you guys can. I'm trying to get out of this year as fast as possible, now. James. Don't make me stay any longer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good shit. You know, it's just still been a bad year, dude. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Biden already is like going back on what he said with the student loan bullshit. Is he? Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't hear about this. Uh, there was like. Uh, like he was, he was saying that he was gonna like try to take fifty thousand dollars away from like everyone's doing right. loans, and he like ran on it. And he's well, like, he he said ten k, ten k. He ran on ten k, but everybody wants him to do fifty, even in like the house and whatever. Well, he already said, no, I can't do it. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, sounds all right. Sorry, I'm. For- I mean, I I expected it. I can, he's got to please the people who paid him money. Yeah, it turns out run. those big corporations really want to keep that. Yeah, so of course, because debt helps yeah. them. Yep. All right, we said we keep this positive. Let's. Uh... <laughs> I mean, if that's the end of this, we can just go to the ending question. I got nothing else to talk about. Okay, so wait. There... Hey, Darius. Yeah. You got Dan to work his Google foo. Yeah. What are we reading? Fifteen chapters up for two weeks from now. Hell's Paradise, G- Jikuchi, or Jin Jin Gina I don't know what this is. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll I don't know. I don't know anything uh, about it. Oh yeah, it's we're all fresh, fresh to it. I'll message Dan and tell him to make it for me. Yeah, it's, it's Hell's Paradise. J- jizz something. Mm-hmm. Hell's jizz, Paradise. Jizz something. Jizz, so, so, <laughs> all you need to know is Hell's Paradise. And it looks cool. And uh, you you took a look at it, right, James? I was trying to find it. I, oh. I never really found it. I saw the description of it. You see the art for it? Oh, Paradise. Oh, J- Jigokuraku is is Hell's Paradise Jigokuraku. Yeah. Hey, look, it's it's literally just fucking Shigaraki. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Death Note's art it a little bit. Does a bit. Yeah. Oh, that's some corpses. I'm in. Hey, look, there's <laughs> him fighting guts. guts. I hope that's real. I hope that's canon. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be insane. So yeah, first fifteen down. chapters. Is. The art's dope. Uh, yeah, I'm going in totally blind. Yep. I saw a guy on YouTube talk about. It. He's like, "Yeah, this is good. This is the shit." And I watched five minutes of him saying that, and then sure. Question: like, Is it done? No, but it's like 120 chapters. Okay, uh, I'm okay with I'm okay with reading things that aren't finished because I've yeah. got a lot of things that are super cool. Uh, well, like, like Jojutsu Kaisen is really, really, really fucking dope. That sounds familiar. Well, like, how do we then, like, talk about it? So, like, if we reach the end of the chapters, do we just move on to the next one? And then do we ever, like, revisit it if it puts out more? Uh, maybe. Well, column B, you know? We'll figure that out as we go. Yeah. All right. Because that's like saying we couldn't talk about my hero, you know? I guess. Well, I don't know. It's a different kind of we can't talk about it. Yeah. Well, like, this one's specifically for, like, a book club type thing. So, like, we'll eventually reach the end of it without it being complete. And then what do we do after that? It might be complete by the time we reach the end. Maybe. Because, like, how long did it take us to finish Sunken? Months. A few months. A few months, yeah. And it it could could be a 400 chapter manga by the end of it. (laughs) I don't know. We'll see. Jujutsu Kaisen. Super. It's really hard. No, it's really hard to find manga. That he cares about that he hasn't no, read. Sure. You know? Yeah, I'm not saying we shouldn't. I'm just 
Oh. Incorrect. It's really easy to find mangas I haven't read that I'll care about because I care about anything. <laughs> <laughs> you want to throw trash at me? You're right. Bro? You're 100% right. Yeah. It's hard to find manga that I would give a fuck about reading. <laughs> you give a fuck about reading. You know, like, I was reading a dumb thing. I wasn't going to talk about this on the podcast last week but, or last time, but I'll talk about it right now. I was reading this shitty fucking manga that was okay until it became not and I still finished it. For mm-hmm. what's there. It's called fucking something no nectar. And it's basically like this dude gets summoned to another world. And they're like, hey, we need your help because uh, you need to help the princess. And it's like, OK, cool. What do I do? I'm literally a fucking mook. I work on a construction site. I can't help you with anything. And the guy's like, oh, well, you need to help. Only humans can use the nectar. And there are like no humans on the planet anymore. And he's like, OK, I guess the nectar is tit milk. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> He literally <laughs> slurps down straight from the breast of this fucking girl <laughs> and gains like crazy cool looking god powers. But I'm like, yeah. what did that just happen? Like, I was like, I was reading it and I couldn't believe it. Right? <laughs> I was like, that didn't just fuck. That didn't just fuck. You scroll happen. back up. This is like, yeah. Is that- <laughs> and then I kept scrolling and I'm like, okay, what the fuck is Maybe this? Maybe I missed something. I was like, I'll give it a shot. And it's one of those things where you can tell he doesn't want to write it. Oh, yeah. Because the <laughs> next chapter is the princess gets kidnapped and he has to use his knowledge to fake being the general that died protecting her to mooks that don't know him. And he, like, using his knowledge of being a construction worker, he mm. makes nitroglycerin and dynamite in this world because he's like, oh, that's nitroglycerin. They don't know how to use that. It's too volatile. But I know what you mix to make it useful. And he makes dynamite and uses that to blow into the castle and, like, strategize to get the princess out. And it's super good. And then he drinks the tit milk again. (laughs) 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 And then the next arc is, like, we need need help from the dwarves. You need to go up to the dwarven people. And he's like, okay, cool. And he, like, gets in a, like, creation battle with the dwarves. Yeah, that's, like, his people. Yeah, and he's like, "I, I can do this. And, like, he builds a better design for their locomotive because like he knows technology right. that their world isn't at yet and then it's like oh cool and then he drinks the dwarf princess's tit milk great i mean you need a hook james <laughs> and, and then and then he gets new powers which also makes him cool but it's like he looks cool as fuck and it's a cool design but it's like can you not can you... <laughs> Opie's popular. I'm like, you got enough. You don't need the tit milk, man. <laughs> you need an edge, man. Then, th- th- you need I, something to set you apart from the other ones. Six or seven different women at where I'm at have given him the tit milk. Six, <laughs> six, tit milk, tit milk, like. <laughs> yeah, it's tit milk upgrades. He's gotten seven. <laughs> Jesus. Three of the tit milk women are in his party, and the other ones are like, we'd love to come with you, but we have to be with our people. And he's like, I really don't want to keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's cool. Does he have to, is it one sip and he's good or does he have to keep sipping? No, it's one sip and he's good for a bit. Oh, a know? bit. Yeah, like like enough for the fight, obviously. Yeah, okay. because he's not just like, I need more tit. Like, it's not like permanent upgrade? No. No. Because um, he he, uh, he upgrades. It's like Zetman level fucking like, oh, he yeah. gets fucking like, yo, I'll look up. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you find this trash? I, I was like, I'm isekai bullshit. Yeah, and I probably was like, just randomly scrolling. Yeah. Sh- Sh- Shinju no Nectar is what it's called. Sh- fucking tit milk, man. Like, I-, I told Trisha, I ran out, and I'm like, if I see another fucking manga <laughs> where I see fucking this much fan service, I'm going to fucking blow my brains out. <laughs> it's like, I just want good, well-written manga, right. and I'm getting, why does this man drink the tit? <laughs> like, because, like, the art's decent. Like, the cool, the oh, guy's yeah. cool. Like, uh, that's what he normally looks like. He doesn't and look then, like he'll drink tit, tit milk. And then that's him wearing, like, the outfit to pretend to be the general. Oh, shit. And, like, there's the dwarf girl. Of course it is. Yeah. Right? It there's the first tit milk so lady. so generic anime girl. Right? I don't like it. Like, uh... <laughs> And, like, the... That's sick. His, yeah, his designs. And, like, each of them have a different spirit inhabiting the milk i don't fucking know (laughs) but it's like one of them is ifrit one of them gives him electric powers one of them gives him fire one of them gives him wind and it's like why does it take i don't know (laughs) (laughs) fucking tit milk i uh. because like and like the design is it's like devil may cry right oh yeah the design is different for each transformation because he's using a different deity's powers and it's awesome but it's like, did it have to come from the <laughs> Did it have to come from the booby milk? 
I would have rather like why obviously couldn't it just, James it could have just been a kiss you need an edge right? over the other ones it could have just been a kiss you need an edge but yeah, you know what better. James if you would just say it, oh yeah he fell through a portal and got to this world and he just like got the powers from the gods talking to him it's a lot less interesting than tip milk because I'm gonna remember this of course you're going to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> But like, uh, like an uh, art sick. right? The art's super cool, and like, there's another dude who's like in the evil thing, and he's like, he's using like fucking sarin gas that he created, and it's mm. like, how the fuck did he get sarin gas? Like, and it's like, it's fucking. Has it? Can anyone else drink the tip milk? No, because no oh, one else is like humans. Human. Yeah, yeah, they're all like elves or like like demi humans or like dwarves, right? So like, only humans can tip this milk, and. <laughs> get these god powers but like it's fucking sick so i'm looking at this stuff i don't i as as i'm looking at it i don't believe you there's tip milk uh don't worry i'm about to show you the tip milk uh because uh, this, uh, this i'll is, go i'll back up i'll back up to the tip milk fuck it this looks like your basic <laughs> and my like, manga shit All right, chapter 12 chapter 12 probably has the titty milk i mean it, it just looks like I, I don't see any tip milk it's coming don't worry <laughs> Where is it? Where's the titty milk? <laughs> Wait, are, uh, did you did you make up the tit milk? No, Darius, I did not make up. This <laughs> milk. I wish I made up this tit milk, because he describes the tit milk. Oh, great. <laughs> Does he describe the taste? Yes, God and damn. the consistency. There's titties, Darius. There's titties. There's titties. <laughs> There's very well drawn titties. Is that the dwarf girl? Yep. There's a dwarf. She princess. doesn't look like a dwarf. Ah, yeah. sweet and so hot it burns. Please save us, save our oh, kingdom. Mark. Ah! <laughs> and now he's a fucking rad Ifrit, like power God of God, damn. immortal. <gasps> and he just starts shooting fucking fire at these motherfuckers. Look at that! It's such a cool design. Yeah. Why do you have to drink the tit? Oh, it's hot because it's Ifrit. Yeah. 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 That's why the milk was hot. Yeah. It burns. It sure did. Yeah. <laughs> I see it again, Darius. It's right there. How did he convince her to drink her tit milk? Uh, she kind of convinced herself, and also they know that he has it, like this power. Okay. Mm. So like, it's just, dude, it's fucking bad. And there's this like one time that he goes to this place that's basically Japan, and he's like, they're like the the queen or whatever is like, uh, yeah, I'll I'll let you help us, and I'll I'll let you hire us because like they were villains at first, but they're mercenaries, mm. and uh, she's like, but you have to drink the milk, um, if you succeed. Of, like, whoever. And he's like, okay, I guess I literally have to do this for my country. Or, like, the country that I'm helping. And she's like, yeah, I'm the I'm the queen. I, you have to drink my tit milk. And, like, she's, like, half Oni. So, like, she looks like a little girl. And the dude's oh, like, great. can I not? Can I not? I'm not a pet of, I'm not a, I'm not a pet of, pho- can I not? And then she's like, oh, don't worry. And then I guess she transforms into a, like, teenager or, like, an adult body. No. It's just that that body is what she uses. And he's like, I still would really rather not, but I guess <laughs> this is better. I guess. Uh, and he's just she fucking, can, She like, can't just, like, put it in a cup for him? Nope. Got it straight from the tit. Darius, there's no time. That's <laughs> under my titty, Darius. You want it? Darius, get the power of God. Oh, my God. No. I do. I hate it. Because it's so, like, decently written when he wants it to be. Yeah. And, like, as it went on, further and further does he latch onto a tit. And it's because he's like, I'm pretty, guys, editor, I'm pretty sure I can, my art's good enough and the story's good enough. Do I have to make him suck the tit? And he's like, yeah. five more chapters until you got to make him suck the tit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, eight, seven, <laughs> highest offer. And he's like, seven <laughs> chapters till the tit. You got it. <laughs> Because, like, <laughs> straight up, he, like, s- sips that tit in, like, chapter two. Oh, And really? then it's, like, chapter eight. And then it's, like, chapter 12. 13. Yeah, or 12. Yeah. And then it's, like, 28. And then it's, like, 43. And I'm, like, oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, shit. It's longer and longer <laughs> until I get angry at the amount of fan service. Because, like, I care. It's cool. Yeah. But I don't want to see this man suck a tit. So, James will read anything. I will read anything. <laughs> uh, so yeah we're gonna read hell's paradise yeah. i'll uh i'll post a post to it in our discord 
first Completely 12 legally. chapters or 15 i figured 15? but i don't know we could do 10 we can do 10 for now let's do 10 because yeah. we don't even know if we like it yet sure yeah. and uh, will we stop if we don't like it yeah i yeah, think we'll, that's we'll talk about it yeah We'll we'll give it like sure. 10, 50, like t- 20, 20 or thirty chapters. I think yeah. is maybe a good like. Yeah. But if we're all hating it at chapter ten, then we'll we'll switch to something else, and I'll keep reading it because I'll read anything. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just <clears throat> confirm that it was shit for us. Exactly. <laughs> Damn, dude! I, I watched that fire punch. I read fire punch. Fire punch was a hell of a drug. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not great. Is it about what I think it's about? Uh, kind of. Fire punch is a. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a world in the future that is covered in oh, snow. Oh, you, yeah, you tell me about this. Yeah, it's a world covered in snow and everybody's, like, dying. And some people have powers. And the main dude's power is that he, like, regenerates instantly. So he's, like, cutting off his arms and, like, giving it to the villagers to be, like, no, oh, for food. reals. Like, we can, like, this sucks, yeah. but you can live. Right. And then a dude shows up who's, like, part of the main kingdom. And he's, like, hey, that's fucked up. Y'all are cannibals. Burn the town down. And he uses his, like burning flame to murder everybody right. and he like murders the main dude's sister in front of him and he's like oh fuck why did you do this and he's like uh you guys are cannibals you're obviously demons lights him on fire and he's like yeah my flames don't burn until the thing is dead or i decide oh. to make it not burn so he's perpetually burning because he can't die forever yeah and like eventually it's like two or three years or something after the beginning of the manga that he actually like gets up out of his village and he's like i've been burning for years and I've only now been able to, like, kind of segregate it into certain parts. Sure. And he's like, I will fucking kill this man. Yeah. I'll burn him with his own flames, motherfucker. So, like, his whole shtick is that he'll punch people. And because the flame oh. is on him, the people... And it never he... stops. So. Exactly. It'll transfer to whatever he fucks up. Nice. So, like, it's super cool for a while until it stops being cool. <laughs> But, like, the art's fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's, Sick. uh... Yeah, how I don't does, know. How does he not set everything on fire when he's traveling? Uh, because the world is all snow. So, oh, like, sure. it'll only... It won't latch on to everything. Mm. But, yeah, I, it's it's not great. <laughs> but it's not terrible. <laughs> like, fucking... It's a dope premise, for sure. Yeah, and he's just like, I'm on fire, this sucks. Like... <laughs> And he's borderline insane because you can't stay sane being lit yeah, on fire for yeah. a fucking year and a half, yeah. three, five, ten, twenty years. So, yeah, that's the shit. <clears throat> read, uh, we'll read ten, ten chapters of, uh, whatever. I almost said Jujutsu Kaisen, which is not <laughs> what we're going to be reading. We're going to be reading Hell's Paradise. Yeah. So, yeah, time for the ending question. Uh, yeah, I was watching this YouTube video, which I told you guys earlier. This is a uh, shout out to this channel called Beyond the Bot, and they just like cover anime shit. Mm. And the one dude did a YouTube video on waifus and like how they started and like what they're about sure. and everything. And turns out that like most of the anime industry is like ran on like people having waifus and buying like the merchandise. Yep, which 100%. I percent. Yeah, which I didn't like really realize <laughs> and didn't understand how important that was to like the industry. So my other question to you guys is, who's your number one waifu? <laughs> you gotta ask me this fucking question. The fucking... I mean, the, <laughs> the people don't know. I guess stalking. James, I'll buy anything with her on it. Uh, I don't really waifu, but probably Tron Bon. Ever since I was a kid. Yeah. Yep. Get up in that. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't make this weird. <laughs> Yeah, you're 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 the only one who's a pedophile on this show. Oh right? my god! <laughs> I'll no, link it. I'll no, link to Raymu. No, no. Uh, I think I go with Robin for one. Nico piece. Robin? Yeah. Oh, sure. She has like this like this grown woman like swag about it. I like. Yeah. Yeah. And she's so like, what do you like about Raymu? Just she, she won it for me. That's <laughs> all. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then like she she the the way she dresses isn't super like out there like nami nami co- her compared to nami there's a big difference okay yeah but at least nami not that nami's dressed anywhere correctly at least she just looks like someone who'd be in florida sure <laughs> but yeah i gotta I got go with, with nico i'm not really into the waifu thing either though like yeah. I, I, stocking's like the only character i like give a shit about this much 
Yeah. And I, like, fully don't understand it myself, but I'll, like, buy fucking anything with her on it. Yeah. So, yeah. Trombone for James? Yeah, yeah I guess. How old is Nico Robin? Let's be... Let's... Oh, she's in her 20s, 30s. So, you're okay. fine. Okay, cool. But, yeah, she, does, she, she dresses pretty... Pretty conservatively. Does she? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Uh, it's just not super conservative. This is pretty conservative. Also, I don't know if that's all that conservative. James, James with tits that uh, huge, there's only so much you can do. Sure. Uh, not, not true. I'm, I mean, you could wear a bra. <laughs> At the very least, they, I mean. They, they, this is the pirate world. They haven't even invented bras yet. That's a lie, because <laughs> Nami's wearing a fucking bra swimsuit. She's not wearing a bra. She, she's wearing a swimsuit. Darius, the swimsuit's just... A bra, kind of. Like Bras I'm sure have they like have underwear. wires and and not like all of them. Elastic in them. It's not all of them. A lot of them do, but not all of them. They have bras here, Darius. The argument is, back when pirates were happening, there were no bras. Yeah, invented. there also weren't soda cannons. Okay, motherfucker. This is a I dumb argument. You. This is a dumb argument. <laughs> yeah, but which one of us stood up to have it? Okay, <laughs> I'm just tired of sitting down. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. But yeah, I gotta go with Robin, I guess, because I, I like I like her maturity, and um. I don't know, actually. I guess I guess can probably say Callie. Callie. I have memorabilia from her. She, you know? Yeah. So. So I guess Callie. So I, I don't really like I said. I, I don't really waifu. You know. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Apparently, it's much I, bigger. I husbando. Than... Oh yeah. I got plenty of husbandos. Kiri, <laughs> Kiri for fucking life. Baby. <laughs> yeah. I, I I never knew like how big the waifu thing was until he it's like started. Oh like, yeah. Explaining it. It's the. Whole yeah. Why do you think fan service is like the number one thing? Yeah. I just thought teenage boys like to jerk it to big titties. Well, That's... yeah, <laughs> teenage boys that like to jerk it to big titties grow up to be adults who only jerk it to big cartoon titties. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the waifu thing is pretty interesting. And like, I don't know, I never, I was never in, into like the Evangelion girls. Oh yeah, yeah. I never. Dude, really even understood. as a kid, they were too young for me. Yeah, it was like, always, <laughs> yeah. always like weird to me. But uh, or are they like <coughs> early teenagers? I always thought they yeah, were they're too, like, they're, like they're, they're they're middle schoolers, but it's like Japanese oh, middle school, they? so they're like fourteen, fifteen. I guess the designs always look like they were like sixteen plus at least. Yeah, something like that. I'd never really like watch this series though. So you never seen Evil Gilly? I've seen like episodes here or there, but oh, I've never dude, like, watched man, you gotta, it. You gotta f- like watch all of it, dude. It's, yeah, it's fucked up. I should. I'll watch it with you. All right. Hell yeah. You, you, you might be d- a little depressed by the end of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not a, it's not a happy show. That's for sure. But Shit, uh, we could watch it tomorrow. But yeah, I would say uh, Nico Robin just goes. So, yeah, that, that's it. That's all I got to. That's all I got. <laughs> Fucking fire punch. <laughs> yeah, it looks so good though. Oh, yeah, it's man. unfortunate. Because he just runs up to this dude and fucking punches a hole right through him. Damn. He's just like, yep, you're dead. And a prologue. Just punch through a man's <laughs> chest while on fire. Sup. <laughs> so, yeah. That was a good ending question. Yeah. We need more waifus in this world, clearly. I Obviously. only need one. It kind of <laughs> makes me like, want to buy merchandise. Just to, like... <laughs> Support anime. Support your waifu. No, not no. Not, don't don't buy the bad. The worst part no. is that all my merch for my waifu is like resale, so I'm not like technically giving money to like Gynex. Yep. <laughs> because the fucking series is like eight years old now. Better and shit. Or it's tw- or ten, I think. I think it came out in 2010. Rest in pepperoni, my guy. Yeah, season two won. Never. <laughs> Never. Gotta win the lottery so you can <laughs> make season right. two. <laughs> Give the rights to Trigger or Iwata. Yeah. <laughs> Just or please. Imashi, I think. Please make this. Yeah. I don't even know again. like what merch. I mean, what like all this all the anime I like is like over, you know. Not one yeah, piece. That's what I'm you can buy waifu. I'm not you can buy your waifu. waifu at merch. You can buy waifu merch. I don't care if it buy keeps going. Robin. I don't care if it keeps going. Buy your big ten <laughs> Nico Robin figure. I'm there good. Is. I'm good. Yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of merch. I, I feel like I couldn't... Th- th- there's merch that I want, but there's not merch that I'd buy. Does that make yeah. sense? And then, like, I feel like my hero, like, there's no need for me to I want merch. some, like, like Mirio they're... stuff, but I'm not, like, yeah. stalking crazy about, like, buying it. Well, I'll, bu- I'll, buy you, uh, I'll buy you a bunch of Lumillion stuff. Yeah? Yeah. He's the best. Like a mod in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. 
because you know it's not true. Ooh. Hey man, he's he's the he can still be a good janitor. I mean, he could be one, but <laughs> he doesn't dreams. have to be one. Yeah, but it's about a choice. Maybe he wants to be. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, the million sucks. <laughs> It's not even true. It's not even the best. You're saying that's a piss me off. <laughs> Thank you for listening, guys. We appreciate you. Appreciate and have you. a happy appreciate New Year. You. <laughs> yeah, listen to this on New Year. And uh, make sure you time it right so that right now, right at the end of this video, you'll get a happy New Year from all of us. Hopefully 2021 is a better year. It's got to be, right? Dune comes out. <laughs> You're right. It can it's already be, better. It can always be worse. <laughs> Don't tell me that, Darius. I can World War Three starts. We can't watch Dune. Dude, that was intended. That was like the uh, the like big scary thing of uh, that was like the whole point. Of it. Like we're trying to stop World War Three because mm-hmm. it was super interesting because the dude was getting the tech from the future, the arms dealer. Oh shit! Oh, shit. And they were like, right. we have no idea. The American government was like, we have no idea what's happening. We know he's Russian. Of and course. he's getting he he he's somehow communicating with the future and getting inverted shit. And it was just it was it was the storyline of Capri. It was like it was it was super interesting, super interesting. <laughs> well, goddamn! Thank you for listening. We appreciate all of you. We appreciate. We love you. We love you. We love you so much, but not as much as my niece and all of it, because she's cool. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for the second time every day. Listen to us. Thank you. Uh, one, two, three. Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! Happy New Year. Such a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs>